Hello, today I'm going to show you the basics of the Perspective Grid tool. To show the grid, either select it from the toolbar panel or press the Shift and P keys on your keyboard. In addition, when you select the Perspective Grid tool, a plain switching widget also appears. To hide or show the Perspective Grid, press the Ctrl, Shift and I keys on your keyboard. The Perspective Grid Tool group consists of the Perspective Grid Tool and the Perspective Selection Tool. The Perspective Grid Tool is fully adjustable. It is built of three planes. These are the three points that control the position of the planes. The left plane with the blue grid that you can move left or right the right plane with the orange grid that moves the same way. Pressing down the shift key while moving will snap it to the horizontal grid lines. And the horizontal plane that moves up or down. You can also reduce or extend the grid by using these points on the side. Moving the little square point allows you to decrease or increase the number of cells on the grid. This point shows the origin, which can also be moved. You can also adjust the vanishing points, change the horizon level and move the vertical extent. You can also toggle the visibility of each plane by clicking on this grey point while pressing down the ALT key. It can be shown as solid, invisible or a grid. The second tool in the Perspective Grid Tool group is the Perspective Selection Tool. With this tool you can switch between active planes. Notice that the cursor pointer changed to an arrow pointing left, indicating that the left plane is active. Also, the plane switching widget shows a blue color representing the left grid. You can activate the left plane by selecting the blue grid on the widget or by pressing the number 1 on your keyboard. To activate the right plane, either use the widget and click on the right grid with the orange color or press the number 3 on your keyboard. And now the right plane is active and ready to use. Notice that the cursor pointer changed to an arrow pointing right. To activate the horizontal plane, select the horizontal grid with the green color or press the number 2 on your keyboard. And now the horizontal plane is active and the mouse cursor changed to an arrow pointing down. You can also deselect all planes by clicking on the widget's circle or by pressing down the number 4 on your keyboard. Now none of the planes are active. And select the horizontal grid again. Now let's go back to the Perspective Grid tool. If you wish, you can set a custom Perspective Grid. To do that, go to View Perspective Grid and select Define Grid. Here you can modify the grid settings as you need and save it for future use. Right now the grid is set to two-point perspective, which is a default. There is also an option where you can choose between one or three-point perspective grid. To do that go to View again Select the Perspective Grid, One Point Perspective and choose the 1P Normal View. And your grid should change to One Point Perspective. Or go to View again, select the Perspective Grid, Three Point Perspective and choose the 3P Normal View to get the Three Point Perspective Grid. Let's say you were playing with the grid settings and now you want to reset it. To set the grid to its default settings, go to View, Perspective Grid, Two Point Perspective 
and choose the 2P normal view. When you understand the perspective grid tool structure and how to control it, you will see its potential. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw shapes directly onto the grid planes. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.